So whilst there are no aliens and there's no UFOs or UAPs in this video, what we do have is one of the clearest ever pieces of footage of Mars released by NASA ever recorded. So whilst I am a massive UFO nut and UAP nut and love the topic of aliens, I, I just love the topics of space and the cosmos and what's actually out there. And of course, as part of that, Mars blows my mind. So in March 2025, so this month, the month of this video recording, NASA has released this footage from uh, their rover on Mars. And it is, according to NASA, one of the clearest videos of Mars that they've ever released and I've watched it a few times and it is just a fascinating piece of video and when you're watching this video it, it's not it, I mean just watching that little snippet of video that we're we're watching now it's not that dissimilar from some parts of earth and we already know that but it really does look like Colorado, I mean, the Colorado riverbeds that have dried out look exactly like that, to be honest, if you look on Google. Um, that could be Earth. So it looks very habitable. Now, obviously, we know that there's different um, issues on Mars with, you know, radiation because it doesn't have the same sort of ozone protection. And of course, there's no oxygen and it's very inhospitable in that sense. But just from a landscape perspective, it looks very habitable. I mean, these videos are amazing. And to think that in our lifetime, there'll be people living on Mars, for sure. Um, so for those of you that follow um, Brian Cox, Brian Cox is a good one to follow. He is the uh, probably best known physicist from the UK, but definitely, you know, even worldwide, he's a really um, well-known physicist. Um, and um, I was watching a video with Brian Cox this month as well. So again, March 2025, where he was talking about the ships that are already on their way to Mars uh, with uh, loaded with robots that have 3D, cap uh, 3D printing capability. And what these robots are going to do, I don't know what materials they're using, but they will 3D print, they will start 3D printing structures like this year. Um, so buildings will start to be built on Mars this year. And then once those pre- built structures are ready humans go and they've got the basic infrastructure there already and when you look at mars yeah it's inhospitable but in terms of actually humans living there it's very viable um there's water in abundance in the form of ice under the surface but in abundance this video is clearly a riverbed so once there was an ocean flow in there um, there is still water underneath and it's frozen and we have the techno technology to get to that water and therefore we have an abundant supply of drinking water, um, an abundant supply of oxygen and there's plenty of hydrogen as well. So an abundant supply of rocket fuel. Um, basically the three main things you need to start building a population on Mars. Um, even uh, Brian Cox was talking about long term terraforming of Mars, the technology is there. Um, it's theoretically proven that they could terraform Mars, albeit I don't know how long it takes to terraform a planet, decades, centuries, who knows. But the, the, that will also start in our lifetimes. We're going to see some amazing things happen in Mars in our lifetimes. So thank you for watching and thank you to those that have already subscribed to my channels. Um, if you haven't, please do subscribe. Um, we're bringing you the latest in UFO uh, UAP, alien content, imagery, documents and videos from around the world, as well as fascinating news just about space, the universe and the cosmos. And uh, in the not too distant future, ufoconnect.com will go live. We're aiming for March 2025 for that website to go live, which has an archive with thousands of videos, documents and images that you can view for free download and critique yourself. Uh, much of that content has never been seen. You can't find it on YouTube or any other channels. Um, so please do uh, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video.